Good morning guys, welcome to a new video and today we are coming from Valladolid in the state of Yucatan in Mexico. We took the long bus ride all the way from Bacalar to Valladolid, a new state in Mexico. In today's video we're actually going to be exploring one of Instagram's most popular cenotes. It's called Setun I believe, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. I'm sure you've seen it all over Instagram. It's one of the most popular cenotes in Mexico. So today we're going to be exploring that and we're going to see if it's going to be worth going or it's just going to be another Instagram tourist trap. The cenote opens at 9 in the morning so it's about 8 o'clock ish right now. We're going to leave in about 10 or 15 minutes because we're going to go right when it opens to try and avoid the crowds. <laughs> This isn't cenote pump up music, I don't know what is. Okay. Uh, dos adulto? Hola. Hola. You speak English? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the bracelet includes the cenote suitun, okay. life jacket, and if you want to swim, you have to take a shower before going to okay. water, and you have to wear the life jacket, it's mandatory. To spend inside the cenote, it's of one hour for okay. COVID protocols. Also includes another cenote, its name is Cape. Uh, cenote suitun is in that way straight, and okay. cenote Cape is at the right of the Casa Maya. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Is it cold? <laughs> Not warm. It's so cold. Is that good enough? <laughs> <laughs> All the germs are off. Do you need anything out of here? Maybe just a no. towel? Just a towel, that's it, I think. I'm not gonna bring my cell phone. We just took a freezing cold shower because it's mandated if you want to go into the cenote. For both of us, it was 300 pesos, so it's 150 each for an adult and it was 50 pesos, Alicia got a locker, so if you do have a bunch of valuables and stuff, you can get a locker too, which is really nice. And make sure you bring ID, because they keep your ID until you get the key back for the locker. The guys that were working here said it's not too busy. Bring some flip-flops, I had running shoes on, <laughs> and it hurts to walk here, oh my god. It's just all rocks. Oh my god. Ow. No pain, no gain, right, Alicia? <laughs> this actually hurts so much. But I think we're almost there. And what's cool that I didn't even know is you get actually access to some Mayan ruins while you're here and to another cenote. So we might as well go check that one out. We'll do it after we see the cenote Zitun. This is cool. This is what a picture of a picture of cenote. Okay. You're from? Oh, Canada. Canada City. <laughs> Gracias. There's like catfish everywhere. I've never seen little ones like that. And then you pretty much just wait in line until it's your turn to take your photos. It's a workout just getting out of there. It was really, really cool, but it definitely is like for the most part, people are just there for the photos. Like there was a little line of people just waiting. But it was very pretty nonetheless. So I think we're gonna go check out the other cenote to actually just swim and cool off. So I don't think you're really, that one's not really meant for swimming. Like you can, but nobody was swimming. Photos. It's dead quiet in there. Yeah, it's so it's quiet. Dead quiet. It's so quiet, it's weird. It's like you're in church or something. <laughs> we put shoes on and now we're not just tippy-toeing our way through the paths. It's another cool passageway down to this cenote. Oh my God, this is kind of creepy. You know, really watch your steps with this one. They say not to vlog and go down cenotes, but I break the rules. Oh my god, this one reminds me of the Vatican. Does it? That's how it was. It's like it's super... The Vatican was actually worse. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> this one's really cool too. I'm not sure if you swim in it. It doesn't really look like it. But it's cool to look at anyway. Uh, if you just listen, you can hear all the bats. Really cool cenote, but it's more for just looking. I don't think nobody was swimming either in that one. So I don't think it's really for swimming. We're all done at the cenote. We're gonna head to the Centro of Valladolid. And we're gonna grab something to eat because that breakfast was kind of disappointing. We're still hungry, but we do have good appetites. <laughs> yeah, I tend to eat a lot. Yeah. The cab ride there was 100 pesos, but on the way back it was 150. So it's kind of weird that it just varies that much. It was a different cab company, but Overall, kind of an expensive day, but I think it was worth it just to go at least once. So we're just gonna change quickly at the hotel. We're in like wet bathing suits. And then we're gonna go explore. And eat! <laughs> I'm hungry. 
I cannot believe how much I'm struggling to say Valladolid. Valladolid. It's not even that hard. I don't know why I'm struggling so much. Okay, we're all changed and ready to go explore more of Valladol Valladolid. Valladolid. Also, crossing the crosswalks here is really confusing. So if you're walking around, always look both ways because sometimes you think it's clear and they're allowed to still go at some points. Keep your head on a swivel because you don't know. We've almost been hit a couple times. We thought in Mexico in general, probably people are gonna laugh at me. The drivers are usually like pretty good, especially in Bacalar, but here they're really aggressive. Like it reminds us of like Bali almost is how aggressive the drivers are. Really liking this city so far. Like it has so much charm. Like it's just so beautiful and the architecture is amazing around here. We haven't really experienced that yet too much in Mexico. Especially like Cozumel and Bacalar, it wasn't like this whatsoever. Like it feels like we're almost in a different country. Oh my god, is it ever spicy today? We found a cafe. We're gonna cool off first coffee of the day. I'm starving, we need to eat something. So hopefully we find something that's like kind of, because it's, it's been an expensive day so far. Like it's at least seven, 800 pesos we've spent. Yeah, so we're gonna try and find somewhere kind of cheap to eat. 100 pesos for two coffees with tip, which is like kind of less. Like I see 35 pesos. Yeah, 35 pesos for a cappuccino, that's like, that's that's pretty cheap. It's usually about 50. I don't know. I don't want to get run over. Okay, we're good. We're good. Very good coffee for a pretty good price. So if you're around the town square in Valladolid, then go to Cafe Art. I definitely recommend it. We just Google Maps a restaurant. We're going to, what's it called? Casa Maca? Yeah. It's authentic Mexican cuisine and it's supposed to be quite cheap. It's closed, so we're gonna keep looking. We have uh, Inspector Gadget on the case right now. She's on it. She's uh, she's not the funnest on camera when she's hungry. Apparently they've moved. We're gonna go find them. It's kind of far, it's like 15 blocks away. But we might do it anyway for something to do, and if there's something that catches her eye, we might end up eating there anyway. navigate around the city and we couldn't find that restaurant we were looking for so we came to this one which seems like a really good like breakfast place it's got a really cool garden in the back it's Yakunaj Kokina yeah, restaurant Mexicana. and Kokina is not what you think it means it actually means kitchen in Spanish but I got an omelet and what did you get I got the molet I can't even say it I was under molet. pressure the stuff on the menu I didn't even know what it was a strawberry jam yeah it's strawberry I have good bread here. For some reason the GPS's don't work that well here. Like they spin you around. We got spun around like three times trying to find that other restaurant. We have beans. We have, this is like a tomato sauce you said. And then this one, they always give you a picante one. So that's like a habanero, I think. There's things like filled with tortillas, which I'm not sure why you'd have that for like with an omelet. Oh, it's really hot too. I don't know if you take pieces of the omelet and you make like a little tortillas Those tortillas thing. look good. I guess it'd be like a breakfast burrito. I'm gonna eat it, so whatever. <laughs> Tortilla shells are unreal. Time to try the spicy sauce. Just a little bit of it. A little more than I wanted it's on a it. It's a teaspoon. <laughs> yeah. Mm, this is really good. I don't find it that hot either. Maybe I'm like superhuman. You're either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. A lot of the sauces that they like recommend not really to eat. They always usually give you one that's there, like this is really hot, like be careful. In total, 345 pesos, which is not too bad at all, especially from what we're used to kind of paying right now. It's pretty reasonable. That was a really, really good breakfast. So we saw on Google Maps that there's actually a historical landmark about a 10 minute walk. So we're gonna head over there and explore. I actually have no idea what it is, so we're gonna see for ourselves. I think it might be an old church or something, but I'm really excited to just, even just walking around this city is really cool. Just got here. Where's Alicia? Hi. There you are. You can see it's right behind us right here. 
I don't think we're gonna go in. It's actually a museum. I don't think we're gonna go in just because of how hot it is. I think we'd rather just go for a swim. And I think we might plan on going to see a few other museums or mine sites. So I think I'd rather spend our money doing that. Even just walking around here is amazing. There's just so many different colors and it's really, really beautiful. God, we're almost home. It's very toasty today in Mexico. I think we'll go back out later once it cools down a little bit. We just got back to the hotel. It's time for a much needed swim and to get some work done by the pool. After editing for a couple hours and swimming, we're gonna head out and grab some food. Alicia picked this really good place. It's like a Mexican taco place, Alicia. Yeah, it's actually a recommendation from our last Airbnb in Bacal R. She's just like unreal. We just got to the restaurant. Of course, Alicia always picks like the most bougie place. We just got our first mezcals. It's like a very, very popular drink here. What's it made of, Alicia? It's liquor distinct to this region. It's made from a plant that kind of looks like an aloe vera. So we'll give it a go. Wow, it's, it's weird because like it's super sweet with the rim around it's like spicy so it's like kind of contrasting but it, it is very good. Kind of like nothing I've ever tried before. So we're just about at the square here and we're gonna grab a malcasita. It's like a traditional uh, Mexican dessert. Keep seeing them everywhere. We yeah, one. we haven't had one yet. We've been here for two weeks. And we actually want to find one we can, so no, that's kind of funny. No, they're Oh, we'll find one. We have so many different kinds. Gracias. Ooh, toasty. First magasita. Magasitas. And cheers. Oh. That is really good. Mine's messy. Mm -hmm. I've probably got chocolate all over my face. Mm -hmm. It's like a crepe that I, you can get a bunch of different fillings. Mm -hmm. That's basically what it is. And both our magasitas were 100 pesos. But pretty good. From our hotel, we took a cab to Cenote Oshman, which was by far our favorite thing to do in Valladolid. It's only about a 10 minute drive from downtown Valladolid, and the cab there costs us about 100 pesos. There is an entry fee to get into this cenote, which is pretty standard for like 90% of cenotes in Mexico. The basic one is pretty much just covers your entrance fee, so it's 150 pesos per adult or 100 per child. I'll throw up the pricing for both other packages, and you can just pause the video if you want to write everything down. The other packages are definitely worth it if you plan on going to this cenote for most of your day. You'll end up definitely saving a lot of money. We prefer this cenote way more than cenote Zaytun. You get definitely a lot more for your money and there's actually activities and things to do. Like look at this rope swing, it's freaking awesome. So I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video from Mexico. Mm -hmm.